Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be applying my chicken manure, this right here, to some plants in the garden. So come along with me, let's do this together. All right guys, I will be applying the composted chicken manure to these bitter leaves that I have here along the fence. As you can see, it is not as green as it should be, meaning we could use some nitrogen and the chicken manure is a great source of nitrogen for, for the garden. It is great for a thriving garden. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use this tool right here to just soften around the base of the plants, you know, so that when I apply the chicken manure, it can get to the roots where I want it to go. So I'm just going to soften just like so use it as a top dress so around the base all right guys so i have softened the base aerated the base of the pants just like so see that okay so next i'm going to grab about and full just put that around put it all the way around the base press that into the soil just like so all right I'll do the rest of them now and then show you the next step All right, now we are going to thoroughly water our manure in. So guys, if you're looking for this composted chicken manure, you can buy it online. I'm going to put a link in the description box below. It's available on Amazon. All right, tribe, I'm also going to apply some of the chicken manure to my pepper plants, to these pepper plants in containers. When it comes to applying a high nitrogen fertilizer to pepper plants, you wanna be careful not to apply too much and all the time because what the nitrogen does is it promotes like leafy growth of your plants. And so, because we want peppers to produce a fruit, we want to be careful how much nitrogen we give it. But if you look at my pepper plants, these ones right here, they are not as green as it should be, which is telling me um, the plant needs some, some nitrogen. You know, I already have magnesium in here, the magnesium sulfate. So it's telling me that I need to add a little nitrogen and um, my peppers are still in the vegetative state. You know, it has not started producing flowers yet. So I can go ahead and add some um, chicken manure to the peppers as a top dressing. So I have my handy dandy tool, which I'm just going to use again without harming the roots to soften before applying the manure around the base of the plant. Grab a handful, apply around the base. Just like so. All right guys, so this is what we have. Now I'm going to just water this in. All right, tribe, I'm going to also apply the chicken manure on my fluted pumpkin plants that I have growing in these grow bags. These are the fluted pumpkin plants. It's mixed in with bitter leaves. It's mixed in with the bitter leaves, but these are in fabric bags on top of this other fabric bag that is growing my bitter leaves. So you see that? That's a fluted pumpkin vine. This is another one. 
that's another one and then i have two more over here so what i will do is i will apply the chicken manure on the fluted pumpkin the ugu this bag right here and since it's sitting on this other bag when i water it it's going to eventually leach and find the soil that my bitter leaves is growing on so i will just apply the fluted pumpkin sorry the composted manure on the top bag the fluted pumpkin bag okay you always want to kind of irrigate the soil a little soften it just a little without harming the roots okay just want to be gentle you don't want to harm the roots we're going to soften it just like so and then we're going to grab a handful of that chicken manure just like so and put it around the outer just gonna put it on top by the way just like so all the way around just like so okay okay so I'm going to grab my handy dandy tool this one right here and soften the base guys if you don't have this you know get creative use anything you can use even sticks like this and just poke around all i'm trying to do is loosen up the soil a little so that my nutrients can get to the roots so we're loosening up the soil without damaging the roots as much as we can okay so next i'm going to grab my composted chicken manure here just about a handful and then we're going to apply that around the base a couple of inches from the plants just like so like that just pressing that in i'll show you the next step but let me finish the rest of them and then we'll come back now we're going to water in our manure i have this rain water that i collected from here in the bucket so i'm just going to use that to water just like so guys this chicken compost does not have any smell it doesn't smell at all it's been broken down already it's been aerated it's safe it's available online I'm going to put a link in the description box if you're looking for a natural way to add nutrients to your plants you know when you take care of your plants they take care of you when you take care of your plants you feed them the best they in turn do you that same favor they return that same favor and they feed your body you know when you grow a garden you grow health so i hope you consider growing a garden of your own and if you're looking for a natural source of fertilizer consider using composted chicken manure i'll catch you in my next one Bye, guys.